Right nerds, we've got plenty of cleaning up to do. We'll get on with it. So I've just been having a look and I've got some drop frame at the beginning of the stream, but it seems to have stopped, so it should be good. Hello, hello, hello. If I look tired, it's because I am. I've had like four or five hours sleep. Hi, Dave. Look at the bulge. Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow. Yeah, you shake those hips, buddy. Hi, Dave. How you doing? I have the rest of Limgrave to clean up. And then we can move on to the lights. That's the bomb ones. We gotta remember where everything else is in this place now. I know there's. It's a silly busy week, is it? So I've got that church thing there to go to. I've got the other bit in front of the boss room to go through. There's not much there. And then there's the bit right at the bottom of the castle. Get my bow out for these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got one through our door as well. All of the here's your new tax bans, and here's how much you must pay, and all that shit. I'm alright. My interview yesterday went quite quite well so I should hear back by Wednesday according to the doc, the two people who did my interview so I'm keeping fingers crossed it is better money than the other stuff as well uh, as an employment advisor for people with special requirements and stuff I bought how you doing? So like setting people up with training and things like that. Um, helping them sort their CVs out and stuff like that. Um, showing them like the best places to look for the kind of jobs they want and things. I am doing all right, but I have had bugger all sleep, but I have plenty of uh, caffeine to keep me going. It's off this bit if I remember right. Yeah, because we can go down here. So I was just saying my interview went well yesterday. And I should find out by Wednesday, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed at the moment. But it's a really good job. Like it's all about like, helping people find training and find work and stuff like that. And accommodating their disabilities or special requirements and everything like that. The only downside to it is that it's like... It is fully office based because I'm going to have like face to face meetings with people and stuff. So there's like no hybrid side to it. There's no working from home or anything. And I will have to dress up smart for it or vaguely smart anyway, but. Other than that, it's like good money and it's something that'll interest me. <laughs> Beetle. 
Get my sword out. Sword. Ah, I, uh, I messed that up. It is good money as well. Why are you still doing the twinkling? You're gone. Oh, it's one of those dudes. I have not fought one of these guys yet. However, I hate fighting them. They're like, I think they're called Crucible Knights. And they all have like animal powers and things. <sighs> no worries, Bart. Enjoy your dinner. So yeah, this guy is a... I think they're called Crucible Knights. And they have like special animal powers and stuff. And they're... <sighs> Is that a mellow message? Looks like it could be a mellow message. <laughs> nice, Dave. <laughs> Hi, mellow. <laughs> Hi, Manu. How are you doing? See, I used to get messages like that off Gemma as well, and Elijah got a hold of her phone. So I just get a random message full of gibberish. <gasps> I'm out of arrows. No. I think we need to go to the other bits of the castle. I am the same. I slept like four hours last night. Four or five hours. Right, which one was the boss room? Godric the Grafted there. Yeah, I can't wait to see that on Metal Gear Solid print. You see what it looks like. I have also been uh, playing way more Final Fantasy 7 than I should be. I'm done quite well. I'm on like the, the jungle area now. And I have everybody set up pretty much the way I want them. With like certain materia and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent most of my time just like, you know, doing all the missions for Chadley so you can get the material off him. So I spent a large part of my time getting everybody set up with what I want them. <laughs> Yeah, it's well worth it. I, I have Cloud set up with like a... Like his is like a full stagger thing. So it's all about filling up his ATB bars as fast as possible. So I've got like first strike, I've got... ATB Stagger, I've got, um, what are the ones I've got on there? I've got him with the max rank of Assess, just because. I've still not done that last stage of the one. 
because you basically have to do it perfect and I've messed up. I always mess up at least once. Done the rest of them, not done the last one. Yeah, the material earrings are handy. Like once you've got them fully leveled up, you can swap the earrings out, but they're really handy. I have Barrett just lined up as a complete tank. It's great. He has um, like HP up. He's got the defense materials. Um, he's got provoke, so he can tank stuff if we happen to get low. And I've got him set up to use the the abilities that like he takes a bit of damage for everybody, and then he like buffs himself so he gets a lot less damage. And then one of his weapons has, uh, you know, when you level up the weapons, you get the weapon perks that are like materia. Um, Barrett has one that whenever he uses his special weapon skill, you know, the overcharge, it gives him protect as well. Yeah, Red's a great counter character, but like Red, I feel like I have to actively be playing. So in sections where I've got to have like two teams and stuff like that, I've always had Red as the one that I play for that team. And I play him as like a, a tank slash counter character. Is there a jump off for this elevator? Is that what I've missed? straight up and down but yeah red's great with the uh, with getting his special ability bar thing up through blocking and parrying and things you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with him and i just have yuffie set up as my like i have Aerith set up with all the different kinds of spells and I basically have Yuffie the same, but she uses her ninjutsu for it. So they are both like my elemental characters. Come on, I need to hit this thing so I can get the loot out of it. Come on, do smashy. Yeah. I actually like using Yuffie mainly as a ranged character. Like when I've been playing as her. Just because you get all that free elemental damage and it just does. You can go crazy with it. Come on, break it. him to do like the overhead smash. Does he just not want to break it or something? what our friend is like. Oh, you're one of those knights. Nice. I posted a picture in Greg's Discord earlier, Dave, because... 
I picked up uh, one of Cloud's new weapons and it looks like the Moonlight Greatsword. I was like, oh yeah, I found the Moonlight Greatsword. Another one of the painting things that I always struggle to find, so it's going to get ignored. Um, this is where all the... <laughs> so that's where all the, the arches and stuff are, so I need to go this way. This heads towards the boss. I've been making sure to do all the weapon abilities as well. So when I get new a new weapon for somebody, I'll make sure I'm controlling them for the next few fights so I can make sure they've got that ability learned because some of them are great. Like Yuffie's got one. I use I have like assigned constantly to her because it just doubles everything she does. I got almost everything in Golden Saucer as well. Uh, the only thing I've not got from there is one of the rewards, but you you, you do literally have to grind for it. I just can't be bothered because it's just a, another materia. Seed. Good thing I didn't forget that. Need that for more heals. Uh. What if I run this way? So this is where the boss is, so... I have looped all the way around, we're good. Yeah, somebody else I know said that, said they've... There's so many areas that they... recognise and stuff. No is Dave. Oh yeah, they do friendly fire, don't they? <laughs> Supposed to be that guy. And another stagger. So I need to go, where can I buy arrows who had the, all the arrows? It's the guy down here near the beach, wasn't it? This one. Get all the arrows from him. So I'm stacked up again. You have the arrows that I want.
Your 180 arrows will do. They'll last me a while. <coughs> and then back to top of the tower. Instead of jumping down to the boss, well, I think we'll continue down to the little church. Because there's somebody down there we can talk to. Ah! That was a trap. We should have enough for an upgrade soon enough. We don't already. And then... Is it over this bit I can jump? Ah. In fact there are stairs down, I just didn't notice. Oh well. That's the other bit I was going to get to over there. I really remember now. So this is like the roof of the little church. So many bloodstains of people presumably fighting and falling. inside the church. I thought I was going to throw, fall through that floor for a second. Because you can literally see stuff underneath. Hello? Nope, nobody there. and stuff out here. Beep beep boop boo. So I've got to remember where stuff is hidden in this castle. I remember bits of it but right come on Mr. Knight. ability thing that they have. It's fine when my summons can do it, it's not when you can.
there. And then it's that one over there as well. And then we just have the stairs down here, so it'll be much quicker this time. It's weird that you can't roll when you land anymore. Well, in the Souls games, it had a thing where if you hit roll, literally just as you landed, you could cancel out of the landing animation. So you'd sort of land and roll instead. Right. So if we can't get his body. There. much better. <laughs> yeah, it used to be rather than doing like the like the bent knees thing like it was squatting down. You used to be able to just land and if you timed it just right you'd roll as you hit the floor. It would cancel that whole animation. Learned that through watching speed runs, and then it just became a habit. Assassin dudes. There's a bunch of stupid stuff I've learned from watching speed runs and things. I learned the easiest way to kill one of the Dark Souls 2 bosses while playing, uh, while watching a speedrun is that there's a, uh, a boss with like a spear and you fight him in a small arena. <laughs> yeah, it just gives you that extra little edge well. yeah but the amount of crazy stuff that they find and stuff that comes in useful like there's a Dark Souls 2 boss and um, the way you fight him is there's like he's in a circle arena and if you find levers throughout the area you can pull them and parts of the floor small falls away so you're on like a smaller platform But what you do is if you find all the levers before you reach this boss you can literally have a tiny arena and if you just go to one side when you first go in the boss room he'll do a lunging attack to try and get towards you and just go straight off the edge like a 10 second boss fight Surviving, it's fine. I have to go out tomorrow as well, I've just realised. I have some shopping to do. Because it's Kelly's birthday on Sunday. I have already got her a present. I will show you what I got her actually. 
I will send you a message. Because I, I asked her what she wanted. Because I usually do. And, uh... She gave me a list so I could just pick. <laughs> oh, I was tempted. There you go, I've sent I've sent you what I've got her. Yeah, as soon as I saw it was available to get, I got it. Screw this guy. I think we're going out for a meal as well, I'm not sure. But yeah, I need to do some shopping tomorrow because there's a couple of other bits I'm going to get as well. notifications are. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Only some of the time, Manu. Only some of the time. Oh, this is where I meant to go. I remember now. Let's backstab this guy off the edge. Whoosh. <laughs> so yeah, the door is to the right, but The heavily armoured ones are the ones that make me nervous. Because when you're playing a slashing weapon like the katana, they take less damage. Sometimes a lot less damage. <gasps> Mimics fail. Which one is that? Is it an item? stuff. Is it armor? I don't know what it is. I can't see it anywhere. Oh, there. Ah, it's the chameleon thing. You lost your it. It's, it's the one that you can play a prop hunt with. Because you can use it to turn yourself into an item. Did he fall off? <laughs> he did.
Yeah, I had a game of Rock Hunt in Elden Ring once. There was a streamer I was watching did it. So everybody went to a location, equipped the Mimic Veil, took off all your armour and everything, and then you had to hide as whatever the Mimic Veil turned you into. And the streamer had to hunt us down. But the, the only stipulation was that the item that the, the Mimic Veil turns you into is random. And sometimes you might get a really shitty item for that area. So like we're inside a castle here, it might turn me into a tree. Because there's trees outside in the courtyard. But whatever I whatever it was, you had to stick with it. Hit the spider things. Yeah, just a random tree in the middle of the castle. And the only reason that's an option for you to turn into is because it's one of the items that's outside, up in the courtyard. Ow. Right. I need to make my way back to him now. But if I remember right, there's a shortcut to him. Because... Just like it has these dirts. I think he killed itself. Exploding chickens. Yeah, the guy who runs this place. That is the boss I killed last time, Godric. Uh, no. And he's obsessed with, with basically body modding. And one of the things he did was uh, he decided to attach swords to his hunting eagles. So they all have stupid shit like swords attached to their claws or like those ones where they've got hooks where they can pick up bombs and stuff. Here he comes running. I can hear the clank 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 <laughs> behind me. So we go this way. Down there is where the spider thing is. What we need to do is get... down here, if I remember right. Yeah, the, basically m most of the gods in this game are have gone a little crazy for one reason or another. There we go. Put back to him. And we have this lift. Wherever this one goes. Oh, this is the one that takes us back to the top. Cool. At least I have this shortcut unlocked now. even be able to just to be a dick it, it tries to dodge but it's too big to
Come on, we'll do it samurai style. Not like that. picture of the king himself. Right, where was it I needed to go from here? Not this way. All of that. This dude's up here, isn't he? This way leads back out to like the battleground area, doesn't it? Yep. Maybe it's through the back bit that I need to go. I can't remember. Go down this way and see. He called the horn because he saw me. Oh, I'm just legging it instead. So this leads back down to the front gate, if I remember. Yeah, front gate's down there. And that way is death. So, we go back to the top. I can't remember which way I'm meant to go. We'll go back up here. So this leads to pot friends. Was it? I got out to this bit. I'm confused. <gasps> Hi, Glob. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Hi, Trua. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Ralk's card, thou greatest adversary. Oh, is that Delta Room? Okay. Oh no. More stupid buzzers. <laughs> God. Damn it! <laughs> stupid ass puzzles in those games. <laughs> How you doing, Glob? Did you manage to finish Coliseum? I don't know, you said you were on your way to finishing it off, I think. Oh no, getting shafted by the end game. Yeah, I remember Coliseum being difficult. I don't think I ever actually finished it. Uh, more grinding to do, right. Because everybody loves the grind. <laughs> I 
Uh, I don't think I ever actually finished Colosseum when I had it. I know I wasn't far off, but... So this leads back down to the spider room. Hmm. Yeah, I'm currently lost in Stormvale Castle. There is an area I want to get to and I can't remember how to get there. I've done the bosses and everything. Yeah, they stopped at like the... Like there's the, the final boss fight that it leads you into and then there's the what's technically like the hidden boss fight I don't know most people just stop to the like the final boss fight it basically shows you towards oh, I'll catch up high enough No worries, man. Never got to the top of the tower, no. Neither did I. Granted, I have never been good at Pokemon. <laughs> Ever. It's just one of those games that, like, it doesn't click for me. Is it this way I need to go? Like, down here. Hmm. So you're the jump down to the church. and confuse Ray and then you're fucked. How do I get down there? You will jump off. You look like you should be. You are. And then Yeah, I can survive it. Oh no, you hurt yourself in your confusion. Wait, did I just miss this door earlier? I did. Yeah, out of like... Games like that and stuff, confusion is my most hated like status effect by far. Like any game that has a confusion effect like that, I just can't stand. I hate it. Right. I need a stone sword key. Who's gonna have one? You had one, didn't you? Right, I've been playing through uh Final Fantasy 7, the the rebirth. It came out not long ago. And I've not noticed any uh confusion effects yet. But if they do you can be damn sure I'll be slapping something on to become immune to them. Back already. Unusually this eight Storm Sword Key will buy both. 
and we'll stock up on those. We should have plenty of arrows now. Right, so I need to go all tower. So we go to the tower, catch the elevator down. This should take us to the spider room. And then we can go through the other door and use the key. So, this door. Use the key. There we go. Iron wet blade. Shield. Misery cord. Which one is that? Oh, it's that one. It's like a little slashing dagger. Jumping! Is this the bit we can survive? Well, only one way to find out. Do this bit that goes over the side. We're gonna have to fight the uh, the Crucible Knight, which I don't want to do because fighting those guys is horrible. my playthrough with my hook with my uh character using miracles and stuff crucible knights didn't exactly cheese them but i'd like sneak up on them and then just l unleash all my most powerful miracles and stuff straight away try and knock it down to as little health as possible We go down to the bottom. We go down here. Then down here and it collapses. And we'll actually get the beetle this time. Storm Assault. There he is over there. We'll wait until he walks into the corner and then see if we can't sneak up behind him. Get a free attack in straight off. Because then we can go around there and I think that goes all the way up that tower. I'm not sure but... I think it does. Sneaky, sneaky. So he sort of goes into this corner and contemplates his fate for it. Ah, 
bit about the spin. And I'm picking the wrong time to heal. I just picked all the wrong times to heal then. Oh yeah, can I... Did I pick up a seed and forget? Yes. No seeds. Wait for him to get to his little corner again. Oh, did he see me? He's looking this way. Hello, Greg. Fighting everybody's favourite. Crucible Knights, the horrible. I will come back when I'm bigger and badder and can kill you much quicker. You jinxed me, Greg. You've made me do that twice now. I'm blaming you. <laughs> yeah, it's their st stabbing attack and the fact that they will literally do different combos. Well, not different combos, but like extend their combo depending upon how close they are to you. I was watching Brary earlier actually because uh, she's been playing Subnautica and she has the thing on that like lets people mess with the game so we were teaming up to ruin our day <laughs> Yeah. 
Right, we'll wait until he stares into his little corner and then I'm just going to run past him. Fuck this guy. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I'm tempted to play some Nauticker again. Now I've got my uh, PC properly set up and we can just install tons of stupid mods for it and stuff. I can put in all the extra survival mods and stuff like that. Give me the fancy flower. Where does this one go? Hmm. Oh, we're here. So that in fact wasn't important at all, and I am still lost about where I'm supposed to go. Eaten by sea monsters. Mod in all the cut content with the extra large, like, giant ones as well. idea about where to go. That doesn't work. We're going to go back into Limgrave itself and finish the other stuff off in there. Yeah, there's a couple of mods that I really want to try for Subnautica. I really want to try. One of them is a realistic darkness mod. So it sets the uh, darkness um, and the what's it called, like light occlusion and everything like that to realistic amounts for the depths that you go to. So like the deeper you go, the less light you get. Is it this way? And uh, it has proper light diffusion as well, so the deeper you go, the less effective your torches and stuff are, because at higher pressures, the light diffu diffuses more. If I remember right, it's, it's at the higher pressures, the light diffuses more, making, meaning your, your torch literally doesn't go as far. walking all the way around this rampart. Don't even know if this is the right way. <clears throat> and then there's a cock content mod that adds in all the fish and everything like that. that got removed from the game originally because they weren't finished or anything and then there is the uh, the proper leviathan mod which adds the uh, like the mega sized leviathan f that was hinted at and shows up frozen in the second game 
adds them back into play as well. Bird. exploring places I vaguely remember now. See if I can work out. Whoa! Oh you blow me. And I'm almost dead. Right, so... Doesn't seem to go anywhere special. No, that's just the battleground bit. to this bit. This where I'm meant to go? No, this is the exact place I went to go. of the castle. one. We'll have to go out the side of the castle at some point as well. Like the horrible monster that's there. Right, just to make sure I'm not being actually done. Well, there's nothing under the lift. So I need to work out how to get out of here. You don't have the right five.
I wonder, can I survive this? Can. Maybe I just needed to go this way. This is weird. The way. Can't remember how to get up that bit. Oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Just run and jump it. Bat. Doesn't look like there's a way to get back up though. But the entrance seems to be up that way somewhere. Oh well, we will head down and see what we find down first. Statues. Big rat. I hear twinkly. This is definitely a boss arena. But what kind? Oh, one of these nerds. Right. Not actually fought one of these yet. All I remember is that they thrash about everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now he got me. Almost got him. Wasn't far off. Yeah, we had a a TV presenter once, Manu, on a kids' TV show, who got told off for wearing a T-shirt that said "Morning Wood" on it. I thought it was well funny when I heard about it. So imagine turning TV on for your kids in the morning so they could watch kids TV show. And one of our presenters is there wearing a t-shirt that says Morning Wood in big letters. He got away with it. His name was uh, Dominic Wood. So he just claimed he didn't know what it meant. He said, oh yeah, I just wore it because my name's Wood and it says Wood on it. And I thought it might be funny because it's a morning TV show. But yeah, we're all funny. There were like screenshots of it and all sorts. Like parents going nuts about it. Like, you can't watch this show anymore. The most popular kids show in the morning as well. Oh, yeah, Ratty. I wonder, can I use my, my summon buddy in that arena down there? I didn't see the sign for it. Missed. Damn it. I've got bleed off on him. Got him. There we go, that might be enough to get me another heal on my flask as well. Right. Oh yeah, then we've got the face of the dead god. Look. He dead. See where he sort of burst through the wall, and then it's his face and everything spreading out. I poor. Gonna pick up Rez's vitality now. Nah. I 
I'm still lost, Bart. I managed to get under the area I wanted to go to. But not actually to it. And now I'm going to climb this ladder from Snake Eater. All the way up here. On all the way up here. Right, where does this take us? All think carefully. Well done, Snake. Oh, this brings us to here. Right, so. So far, I have been everywhere other than where I actually want to get to. I still don't know how to get outside to this bit. Let's have another look at it. The Yukon. Store over at that tower. So if I get this elevator up. See if there's a way over to that corner. So we want to go over there, really. Some way up around here. Wonder if I can get on that ledge over there. No. Unless I go all the way around, maybe. I can Should we go around here, around here, and then that just missed. But I think we can do it. Don't know if it's the correct way, but I'm going to try it. So we jump up onto here. There, that was better. This brings us to... Right, I recognise where we are. What's up this way? Ooh, did I find it? This where I was meant to go. Even more smithing stones, just what I needed. More smithing stones. I think we might be in the right area.
<laughs> it is green tea, but I think it counts. Ah, oh, do make you jump, Bano. We shall follow it and see. Or I'll jump off the side like a dumbass. I now gotta remember how I got back there. Um I can't remember which way I went now. this jump wasn't it it's all right Greg managed to get me with the uh, the celebration earlier as well when I managed to do a stupid jump and fall off celebrating my failures right. we go this way I think you did. I think you missed it. There was it. At the top bit where the eagles were. And I tried to run past all the, the eagles to jump down where the big night guy was. And I just aimed the jump, the jump terribly and went straight off the cliff into my death. So I said that Jake, Greg jinxed me because it's twice that's happened when he said hello to me. Yay. <gasps> Do we find it? This is it. Did me a jump block. It's alright, they do it to me all the time. Especially when I'm playing like something like Alan Wake. Where it's spooky and quiet and I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing and not get jump scared. And then Manu does it, or Greg does it, or Bart does it. Stuff we wanted from up here now. 
We are good. Missed. I think it might just be my chat. A lot of my emotes have stopped working for some reason. settings hiding give me a second something's being wonky and I'm trying to work out what is now chat being poopy Hope this works.
Now it works. It's a stupid, uh, do you know the, the chat window you get inside um, OBS? I have that popped out every now and then when OBS updates. It decides it wants BTTV to be in charge of it. But BTTV is a bollock. Doesn't like working. Right, so we'll head back here first because I want to do upgrades. Let's go see our blacksmith friend. So every now and then, if there's like an update to OBS or something like that, BTTV will take over the display of emotes and things like that in chat, and then just won't show them. Which is upgraded. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Yeah, can you upgrade spirit men with strengths? No. That will do. And yeah, BTTV doesn't like 7TV and a few others, so it just doesn't work. Lasks. There we go. Extra heal. do I have that I can use? How much of these left? So if I use three of them? Is that enough? Oh, just under. I'll head to... Where do we need to go? We still need to go around this area a bit. And we've still not done the rest of the stuff up here. So instead of the gate front, if we go to the shack... Left us a present. And I will BRB as I go get food. So I will leave you with silly clips thing. That's definitely not supposed to happen. Oh, what the fuck? Nope. We are going the other way to that thing. I have not met. Let's try the right hand one. 
have rubbish. Oh, right. Can leak my dick pics? No, not again. Right, it comes. Yeah, I think we'll go for Magic Heart base then, so we can have the the more cursed Gyarados later on. Boom. Boom. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's cute. Right. There, grab the big health. Thank you. Grab this. Fire elemental. Get him. I wonder that if you show a cleavage you also get 2.7k viewers from what you think. There you go Spike, it's as good as you're getting. Maybe. We are actively trying to find a donor spine for her. So yeah, if any of you do have a spine that you'd be willing to give up for a poor Dutch woman who needs it. Contact us for donations. Right. You'll leak my dick pics? No, not again. Right, it's cons right, stop casting spells. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass, but you died. <laughs> oh great, I'm just gonna fight her. Resist on it. Like this boss is doing nothing to me. Now come on land. That's all you need to do. Land so I can hit you. How much is this going to do? <laughs> I'm Megan. Well, how are you? We are about to do more exploring. I am good. I'm a bit tired because I didn't sleep much last night, but other than that, I am just chilling out and fighting stuff. Right. If I remember right, there's a dungeon up here. Is there? Maybe not. I know what I forgot to do. I have literally just remembered. <gasps> Thank you for the sob. You are very kind. <laughs> oh, enjoy your uh, ad-free viewing and your emotes and being able to spam whenever you like. <gasps> How do you mean broken man? Oh, 
Oh, you can't hear him. Or her, right, give me a second. Did something break? Um, Again. Repeat what you said. There. There you go. Could you hear him then? Second. Fix you, Richard. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Doing all the troubleshooting today. Hey, Karamino, everything's a okay in Teddy Bear Land. No need to worry about this little fluff ball. Just here to spread some sass and joy. There we go, Thanks that works. Checking in, but no repairs needed today. as it missed it as well. Welcome aboard Sakura Sakaya. Thanks for subscribing and joining the Teddy Bear Adventures with Richard. Together we'll have a blast and create some unforgettable moments. Let the fun times roll. There you go. Pink. Give pink hugs from us. Deserves all the hugs.
Like I said before, Manu, though, if you do need us for anything, just give us a shout. I almost always have my phone with me. As well, spot Discord messages and stuff. Need to keep hitting. Soldier spirit. Yeah. All the jellyfish in the world. Yeah, it's not all of them. I think it is. Now I can safely make my escape. So now we have this area where there's a giant hiding. somewhere I just don't know where can't remember now oh, this is where I was just at so I need to go this way to 
and with the lightning bit and the storm giants. Is there a jail here? As well as sheep. There is a jail here. Who's in this? Into the ever jail we have. Ah, Crystal Knight. One thing I didn't want. I hate fighting these guys. They all get like, oh. as well as having like deceptively long attacks and massive combos. They just get weird animal powers part way through. And they tell to behind that shield constantly. He look he extended that combo just because I was in range. Right now he gets his special powers. This is the bird one with the tail. Yeah, I'm fine with most of the tough enemies and things in this game, but the Crucible Mites, no, screw those guys. Get the anime finish on him. Bad wolf. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing? Welcome in. Right. Where am I supposed to go next? That's where the giant's waiting to jump down. So I suppose next is... This way. Yeah, so we want to go 
Look at that. <laughs> no worries, I'm assuming you've you've been streaming it as well. Or are you just having a rest from playing it yourself? This is like my third playthrough. But my first one I'm actually doing on stream. guy inside. You, Mr. Ash of War there person. <laughs> yeah, the agony of it sounds right. Not floating your boat. Yeah, we have a... Uh, I've done a few Souls games on this channel. And started off as a challenge, really. I lost a bet to a guy I worked with at the time. And I said I'd do a forfeit or something, so he decided my forfeit should be that I'd have to stream Dark Souls 1. But not only that, he wanted me to do like a, a challenge run, so it was Dark Souls 1, melee only. So like no spells, no crossbows, no throwballs, nothing like that. Just a weapon in my hand and that was it. And then from then onwards I just sort of carried on doing it. So I've done Dark Souls 2, I've done Dark Souls 3, I've done Bloodborne. And now I'm doing Elden Ring and each time I've let everybody in chat pick or vote on like what kind of build they wanted me to do, what kind of challenge. Like Dark Souls 2 was fist weapons. Like I could use whatever else I wanted, but I had to use fist weapons for my melee. Uh, Dark Souls 3 was spells only. Like no, no melee weapon or nothing like that. And I had to fat roll. That one was the biggest struggle so far. <laughs> Trying to fight uh, some of those bosses while fat rolling is difficult. Uh, there's another giant up here. Oh, is this where the like the back route behind the castle is? I know there is one. I just can't remember where. I think it might be this way. See, we have another shack. Oh, that's the one I really need to. If I go up this way. Ah, uh, yeah. Breath of the Wild is a good introduction to open world stuff. Breath of the Wild is very open. But yeah, Elden Ring is a good start for a. Uh, for playing any of the Souls games. Like, it is difficult, but there are very few areas where it's a case of uh, no, you have to do this boss or you're not getting any further. There's always, like, you can always run off somewhere else and level a bit or practice fighting or get some other gear. There's only a couple of places in Elden Ring where you're actually, it's actually no do this or she can't get any further. Like the other Souls games are all quite linear. Like there's a very few, very little like deviation of the path, so to say. 
but yeah, I, I do enjoy doing the challenges. There's some we had a lot of fun with some of them. Look, look. There you go, there's the secret path. If you go down there and follow that round, that comes out behind the castle and you can skip the entire castle. See what the old lady wants to say. To read our palm. Fingers. Yeah, a little better do it. Bless you. Oh. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. You need the big glowing Traverse tree in the distance. I do enjoy trying different things out in games, but I've played Breath of the Wild and first time I played it I struggled a lot, mainly because I'm, I'm not that good at um, Zelda games. I get lost and confused easily, unfortunately. I have been streaming quite a while. Um, I think about three years. I started uh, when we went to lockdown in the UK. I had a guild who I played World of Warcraft with. And we started organising doing other stuff. So we'd play. Uh, yeah, when well, we all went into like quarantine and everything. <gasps> NPC Invader. So I had a guild from World of Warcraft who we played games online, so we started playing Among Us and stuff like that. And then I met other people who streamed at the time, like Manu who's in chat, and started watching them. And eventually they convinced me to try as well. We lost the anime slashes. So yeah, Manu used to stream. And she was one of the people who helped convince me to try it out, and I just sort of never stopped because I enjoyed it. And then we have Sakura, who has also started recently. And she's an Overwatch pro. So if you're interested in seeing like Overwatch gameplay of a very high level, it's definitely worth a follow. Terrible at other games though. I've seen her. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Manu. model is so well done by the way. I've seen a bunch of um I've seen a fair few people using VTuber models and stuff. And on some of them the rigging is like really buggy or stuff doesn't fit properly or bits clip through each other. Yours is really really well done. <laughs> mm. New stuff. Yeah so you had a couple of things like you've got the the wine glass and stuff. Mm. 
No worries. Have fun quick. I'll see you soon. Herbs. Yeah, mana is definitely gonna love it then. Hello, Mr. Sag. How you doing? I'm uh, just cleaning up in Lyonia at the moment. Like last stream, I managed to get Godric down and open up. Uh, the next area and then remembered I missed loads of stuff around here so I'm cleaning up before I move on or trying to anyway I keep forgetting what I've done and what I've not trying to making sure I've not missed anything important anyway Just call our friend in just for the fun of it. We can find the other knight over there. He seems to be handling himself like that. Leave him to it. <gasps> no worries. Thanks for dropping by, Mr. Say. Should probably see you again soon. <gasps> A shame. Thank you for the sob. You're very kind. How are you doing, Shane? Isn't there a chest around here? I'm sure I saw one. There. Loot. Yeah, I am a loot goblin. I need to go and get everything. Ah, <laughs> playing Eldivers. Nice. I played a bit earlier because I needed to get the uh, like personal mission done and then I realised I was using the wrong weapon so I made no progress. <laughs> it gives me a nice thing saying oh yeah you need to kill like a hundred enemies with a machine gun. I was like oh yeah that's not too bad I'll, I'll just kill a hundred stuff with this machine gun really quick. And I'm used to the wrong weapon, because there's two machine guns and I had the wrong one. <laughs> Don Jan. Diving into hell. Yeah, they did a rebalancing patch not, uh, recently. So basically nerf a couple of the weapons that were like way out over performing and to like buff some weapons that weren't where they wanted them to be and it has now made one of the weapons I like much much better there was a, a laser cannon that you could have 
And the laser weapons are really good because they're infinite ammo. But they didn't used to have they didn't used to have the damage or anything to keep up with it. So they weren't worth using. Now they've been buffed and they have infinite ammo, so they're even better. You've just got to remember not to laser your teammates to death. Which I may have done a couple of times. Like I was playing with Dave the other day. And him and Adam playing, and Dave just... Kept murdering Adam in horrible ways. Usually by calling airstrikes down into his face or something similar. So I was helping them get extra XP and rewards, so... Like while they were working stuff up and making their way to objectives, I was doing all the little side stuff so they could get extras. Unlock stuff a bit quicker. <laughs> I see you there. But I did like literally just the other other day get to level twenty, which is like the We've unlocked almost everything. Popcorn! Yeah. I'm gonna get some popcorn this weekend. Hell, if I get this job, I'll be getting even more popcorn because I'll be celebrating. <laughs> did you get Manu? Are you one of the weird people who only has like salt on their popcorn or something? Enemy fights time. Salty. Yeah. I like the sweet and salty one, so it's got like sugar and salt on it. It's really nice. Come on, they don't want to fight me. Come on. <gasps> Shinken, thanks for the raid. Come for your trash. Come for your, yeah, we've got plenty of trash around here, so there's plenty for you to catch up on. Well, hello there, Shinken25, and your awesome 11 viewers. Prepare yourselves for a wild ride with Richard, the teddy bear sensation. Get ready for some fluff, some sass, and a whole lot of fun. Welcome in, everyone. How are you doing? been up to. <gasps> Elden Ring as well. Oh, Posidus X. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh... I'm strapped in! I'll put you in a coma! <laughs> Madness! Nice. I can snap at any moment! Oh Bitch! <laughs> Don't worry, Shinken. Fuck you! <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to see people seeing react like that when they finally oh, get a Oh fuck! <laughs> ah, that's good. Yeah, that was uh Richard's ASR ASMR voice. Got a little AI buddy.
hiding down there. <laughs> no, it's not Manu. We, we could do a Manu one. Like, there is a way to set it up with a custom voice, but you have to, like, record loads of specific voice lines and stuff like that. I would have to make Manu sit down and read them all out. <laughs> it's not. Telling lies. <clears throat> now, once it's got the uh, the multiple settings one set up, Manu, we'll, we'll do a Bart one that can just make fun of people all the time. <gasps> yeah. Manu bedtime stories, that's what we need. Ah, the space. tries. And I got a second katana. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, the moment it uses a uh, TTS monster for voices. But there is a way to set it up with other voices as well. And soon I'll be able to do the different profiles for it. So I was talking to the person who program who uh, makes the program I used the other day. It's called VTS Plog, if anybody wants to have a look at it. There's like a link to it in my about stuff. But uh Erebon, the person who makes it has like a bunch of programming put in for programming different personalities for your AI body. So if you have multiple AI bodies you can switch between them and have them all like react to stuff differently. They've not worked out to make it swap voices automatically yet. That's in the works. Right, which boss is this? Oh, one of the assassins, right. Oh, you're not so bad. We'll just anime you. Come on. Do the badass slow walk towards. Dagger. What's in this? And we got Death Root. We'll need that later. So have we got
Come to the horse. And the more is under the broken bridge. It's over this way. Another giant. Didn't stand a chance. We have Ooh, the Lance Talisman. That means the there's a Lance Knight near here somewhere. I remember there being one near the talisman. anything interesting up here. No. So we'll head this way. Like I said, I remember there being... There he is. Is that him? No, it's just random soldiers. Surprise. sworn I saw like a, a soldier with a lance at some point. Maybe it's in a different area. I know my memory is going down getting old. But I'm blaming it on. <gasps> Pumpkin man! Hey, listen, I can do that. We shall do that right now. So, find the sound that works. No, the. This one. What message do you want to go with it, Bart? Or do you know what one? Or do you just want a listen to pop up in chat? Uh, arrivals. Just 
custom entrance. Add. See if this works. Hey, listen. There you go. Hey, listen. Oh, he's not as strong as he was earlier. This takes us into this like farmy bit area. Oh, there's a merchant here. Oh dear. Yeah, my, I, I can add um, commands and stuff as well, and you can make the commands do pretty much whatever you want. is the same program show you know, an example of one of the commands their mod has which uh, is called king of the hill and it rolls a random number like one to seven and it well or one to six i should say and it picks one of the six mods and then demods the other five so they end up being the only mod left for that stream. So it costs them like a hundred thousand points or something. And even viewers can redeem it. And it's basically strip five mods of their rights and leave one left. What's the guy with the hugging yes. armor? Your soul will return to the Erd tree. <laughs> In time, honeyed rays of gold deliver this spirit. Ah, hello. Tarnished, are you? I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. The village here has been touched by death, and worse yet. It is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. <clears throat> I'm gonna the kill it. The here has been turned back. In fact, is there a rest point around here? See, that's where we'll go eventually. Kill him! Anything 
in over here. Oh, this is the bit where the bear is hanging out. Right, I've already been here. I've just not done this bit with the village. I swear I heard something try and attack me then. See, the mariner gets hyped up a bit. But he's not actually that difficult to fight. <gasps> Dog! No. This is a poor message. Yeah, when they did the network test for Elden Ring, they realised that Turtle wasn't on the animals for the messages anywhere. So everybody just started labelling them as dogs. So it's just sort of become a tradition now that all the turtles get labelled as dogs. Right, let's go beat up this mariner. He just took out all of his own zombies. He's a muppet. And he's dead. And all of his zombies with him. Skeletal militia man ashes. And then there's actual skeletons that get up. Yeah, he's easy. He shows up multiple times in the game as well. And literally all you have to do is don't fight him on foot. Ride down, ride round on your horse and he's easy. Scythe man. Go and tell this other guy that we've killed the ferryman. So yeah, he said to be wary, but he wasn't that difficult. Ah, he's gone. I bet you he's at the the round table or something. Everybody seems to end up there, even though it's supposed to only really be for Tarnish. <gasps> no worries, Bart. I'm finishing in a second anyway. I'm literally just got this little bit to do here. And then we'll have done everywhere, basically. Ah, I'm glad you took my warning to heart. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Well, well, another fool who won't <laughs> listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for he calls me smart for ignoring the guy. Mm. How would you and then I actually just went to him. Of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death route, 
Then I'll introduce you to Garank. Garank. The beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to. And the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Let's do it. Well, show me your map. I've marked the location for you. Of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Okay. Right, back we go then. So the hidden gateway is there, right next to the church. So we're literally just going to go explore that little bit, then jump in the church, because we've done... We've done the Mistwood, haven't we? We've done Fort Hate. We've not done Seo for us. We'll go there next. We'll go to the pretty underground place. Although I might get my ass kicked there, because the underground places tend to be more difficult. messages on top of the buildings again. I did that when I first played. I spent ages like... Ooh, do I have enough keys? I do. Spent ages like climbing up the ruins so I can put a message at the very top and stuff. Right, is this going to be a boss one? Dog! Dog. More dogs. What do we get? It's basically free loot. Turtle Talisman! What does Turtle Talisman do? Stamina recovery speed. You can see it all turning red over there. Yeah, and then this just leads down to the church. So, we will pop here. Give me a sec. Gives us 1984. Divide you by 4. Combination, if I've worked this out properly, should be 496. 4, 9, Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Gotta catch them on me. I know it's my destiny, Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. So true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach. I'm tempted to go for this one. Yeah, go for left. Oh, come on, I'm being fused. Boom, boom, ba -da boom. Ah! Oh, God. It looks like it's dying. <laughs> Rattras. No! I did not realise you could roll off the side of it. Yeah, I might kindle it. Let's see how much humanity I've got on me. Um, not there. 
bottles pop. Look at it. It's glowing and everything. Don't mind me. I'm just scanning this. Oh no! No! It almost killed me! Get him! Run! Run! Run away! Fucking leg like it! No grab, please. That was one too many. Stop trying to grab me. Oh, the Elizabeth Mushroom is actually really good. Oh, you got stunned. has happened in this game now. Then there'll be a death area. Oh, it looks like it is. Now, like... No! That was off. So the ledge... Oh, no. So she's got the weird mon- Manu! Got that. Right, stop casting spells. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass but you died. <laughs> oh great, I'm just gonna fight her. I wonder if I can land on the guy's head again. It worked last time. <laughs> it works. And now I can just beat him up from above. Oh, maybe. Back, 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 back. Sorry about that, I managed to knock my drink over back 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 managed to avoid everything important though i just spilt it all over myself right <laughs> means i have even more washing to do Right, let's use this little secret portal of his. Whoosh. Literally all I've got to do is this. And then... Yeah, I don't want to fight that. I'm going to say hello to Garank. Who's a cool guy? <laughs> Let's 
Oh, Plan Platte 2. Gives us cool miracles. And a beast eye. What does the beast eye do? Beast eye. Tremble when close to death root. Ah, so it's like a detector thing. Cool. So now we have this spot all the way over there all the stuff we were looking at. I just want to check this here because I can't remember whether I whether I went around this bit or not. And then we will head into the underground a bit ready for next time. So we want to go this way. Giant bear. Slightly smaller bear. Anything important here? Graveyard. Graveyard with poison plants. And skeletons, because there's always skeletons in these graveyards. Ah. One of the big plants. And then like a booster to get upwards. Cool thing about these boosters, as long as you land in it, you don't take fall damage. So you can carry up and down with them. Right, I think we're good. I think I've done this bit with the wolves. Be able to tell when we go over towards these gravestones if there's any loot on them. There is loot on them, so I've not. this bit. Right, we'll get loot from the graves, we'll check the ruins, and then we can go underground and see the pretty fake sky. some actual ruins over here which I can't remember whether I did them or not. Have to check. I'm gonna watch out for where the giant bear is. 
because I know there's one around here. Well, more than one actually. And then there's a dude up top. Ah, yes, I have done this one. Leave this dude sleeping. Do I have the thing to get him down? Don't know if I do. Uh, there we go. No. He's just going to stay up there and howl for a bit. Right, now we can go and see the pretty underground and I will finish there. Heading into a brand new area can be the stopping point. So we need to go this way a bit. Fancy elevator. Make our way all the way down. The underground areas are some of my favourite places in this game. They're so pretty. So it has all the best architecture like you can see on these walls as we go down. And then it opens up. get to see the underground itself. All the fig stars and stuff that they made. All the buildings and everything underground. So cool. And it's huge as well. the bottom finally and there are places at the top that we will be going to later yeah this is seal for a river or sio for a river where you see it and that's where we'll be going next time through there up there and into the city proper. But for now, we rest here. Right. Here we go. Me done for the day. Have a look, see who's online, see if there's anyone to raid. I've just seen Megan's picture as well of what she's got. That's so cute. That starting soon screen as well is amazing. It's so cute. Little burbs. Right. Who is online? Who can I go and invade? Is TP going to be online for once? He's never online when I want to raid him. <laughs> ah, tell you what. Who is on though? Mr. Sag is on, so we'll go and say hello. Mr. Sag dropped by to say hello earlier. I've been into his streams a couple of times. So I'll drop by and say hello to him. He's also doing some Elden Ring. That work. It's not showing the raid thing for me. 
Stupid chat. Right, we, we might have to just wait out the raid thing because it's not showing the bar for me. So, I shall see you all next time. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for all the other cool stuff. Thank you everybody new who dropped by. I shall see you all soon. You're all very awesome. So join the Discord if you get the chance. Keep updated with stuff. Like if I'm ever going to move a stream or update stuff or if I'm scheduling stuff in, it's on there. I shall see you all soon. I'm just waiting for it to raid out now. I won't be able to tell that it's happened. Unless you can see a countdown or something. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. In fact, no, wait, I've got a to stream up and I'll be able to see when it happens. It'll happen soon. Will it? Maybe? Not sure.